what is up folks good morning you're watching Amos live my name is boy it is Sunday April 7th 2024 we're standing at Polderbaan currently the only runway being used for arrivals the first airplane of the day is a CRJ arrival from Copenhagen by SAS and it won't be long before we are going to see the first queen of the show more queens today luckily than yesterday more sunshine as well the wind <laughs> It was relatively calm in the early morning, 12 knots, 11 knots, but now latest meter says 17 knots. The wind is blowing more from the southwest than yesterday. And also the first butt shot of the show. Let's see that my chat window has frozen. Let's see. Right, Maria is the last message. Now Tiger. Yeah, okay, we're back in sync. Good morning everybody. Welcome to the show. Relatively calm here still, but Evelyn and her grandpa were already waiting for me on the <laughs> on the bench. <laughs> Our next airplane coming in is from Norwegian, the Bjorn Sterne Bjornsson Special Livery, arriving from Copenhagen. One hour and eight minutes it has flown. 14 years old this one. First flight September 2009. The firefighters already did their round. And have returned to the station to do a little testing of the equipment. However, we are going to turn back point the camera to a blue northern sky. Air China Cargo is our first queen and I believe there are two or three more coming. This is Air China Cargo Flight 1001 arriving from Chengdu in China. 10 hours and two minutes it has been underway now. The 747-400 freighter is 18 years old. First flight was in December 2005. Good morning everybody, Young Case, Robin, Yillard, Betty, Captain Eddie Boss and Andian, Tiri Liri, Guten Morgen, say hi to your dad, Dirk, good morning, Don Zelly, good morning, say hi to your, your dad as well, <laughs> QJ, good morning, Jimmy, good morning, kom je straks nog langs, Ralf, good morning, Marjan with an N, good morning, Roadhog, good morning. Hadi Dirk, good morning. Right, I was hopeful that I could do, go, go without image stabilizer, but quickly re-enable it. Seems like a necessity today as well. Now, will this 18-year-old 747 get loud? That's the question. Let's look and listen.
affirmative. Hey there, Naimish. Good morning. Welcome. Caroline, good morning. Nijmeegse Nieuwsnet, goedemorgen. Raketa 88. Good morning. Herzlich willkommen. man. Freddy, who is tuning in from Rotterdam, The Hague Airport. Goedemorgen. Hey, good morning, Teenage Kicks Berlin. Schön, dass du auch wieder mal dabei bist. Liebe, goedemorgen. Nice to see you, man. Now, we saw it yesterday. Today, it is not a special livery, but it is another Finnair A350 that is coming this way. Yesterday it was the bringing us together since 1923 edition. This one is the standard livery. Flight 1301 arriving from Helsinki. Two hours and 12 minutes underway. Five-year-old airplane. First flight November 2018. Big picture wise, what does it look like at the moment? Well, to the north, blue skies. To the west, a few friendly clouds. Little calm trail over here. Wind on the scale of chimney smoke looks better than it did yesterday. Chris and Curtis doing morning cardio. Then inward it looks like more clouds. Lovely cloudy sky though, has to be said. And over to the south this is what it currently looks like. Now, somewhere behind the thin air is an EasyJet A320neo arriving from London Stansted and another EasyJet but an A319 arriving from London Luton will be arriving from the left. Do I have it visually already? Not yet. Good morning to Sweetie. Mrs. Professor, good morning, good to see you again. Nelly, goedemorgen. Happy Sunday to all. Right, regular ass Finn Air A350-900, flight 1301, arriving from Helsinki, Finland. Two hours and 13 minutes underway. Goedemorgen, Petra. Joe Schmo, <laughs> tuning in from San Diego. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome. Hadi Erwin, goedemorgen. Alrighty, let's look at this in. The risk of jinxing it, it doesn't feel like a 17 knot wind right now. <laughs> Yesterday the wind, wind, wind speed was supposedly less, but it did feel, feel more windy. Meanwhile, the Air China Cargo 747 still on its way to the main platform area. Most of you will know by now. Still considerable taxi along the road. The line of trees back to the main platform area, which is behind these trees with the main tower over there. Righty, last stop formation. Meanwhile, a warm welcome to Jelger who just became our latest Aurora Skylines member, thank you for choosing AMS Live, Jelger. I hope you will like it in the lounge. And if something isn't to your liking, do let me know. And be sure to use those custom emojis whenever you get the chance. Thank you for your support, mate. Goedemorgen, Anouk, Gosse, 
Yellard already said hi to you. Let's see. I think have any other people. Graham, good afternoon. And all other people who have joined us in the meantime, welcome to the show. Feel free to say hi. It's not, not mandatory, but it's always appreciated. And if you have any questions, shoot. A lot of people watching already. All of them are friendly and a lot of them are knowledgeable as well. First up, EastJet A320neo, flight 27840, arriving from London Stansted. 34 minutes of flight time for this one, the OE LSM, we see it a lot. The airplane is a year old, first flight was in July 2022. Well, it already touched down early and going relatively slow here. Now, <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything about wind. It's moments where it is more calm and moments where it is picking up a little bit more. Salut Timon, tuning in from Marseille. <laughs> hey there Justin, good morning. Melis, goedemorgen, good morning. Yeah, another little contrail passing by in the sky over here. Probably a narrow body twin jet. Not a lot of humidity in the sky, you can see that the contrail isn't very long. And this would be an A319, EasyJet Flight 22515 arriving from London Luton. 36 minutes underway, 12 years old, first flight made 2011. shot in the making. Now Martin, thank you so much for your super chat. No accompanying text along with it, but thank you so much. Very much appreciated. And also a big thank you to Christian, AKA Teenage, Teenage Kicks Berlin, for your PayPal donation. Zeit für eine Café, Grüße von Teenage Kicks Berlin. <laughs> Herzlich Dank. Thank you so much for that, Christian. Dankeschön. And this is Turkish flight 1951, A330-300 arriving from Istanbul. Turkish bus shot in the making. <laughs> At this time of day already. And the overhead was Wiz from Luton, Richard says. Thank you so much for giving us that background information. Adi Nick, goedemorgen. Indeed, good, good weather. Good. 
Uh, goedemorgen weer. Ah, <laughs> now, I, now I'm even starting to make errors reading in Dutch. <laughs> oh man. Alrighty, let's see. Our next airplane is an A330 Neo, Delta Airlines Flight 56, arriving from Salt Lake City. Hey, Astrid Wolf, Servus Wolfgang. Good to see you again, mate. Hope all is well. Now, in the background is a 78710 Dreamliner arriving from Cartagena, KLM flight 749. First up, Delta Airlines flight 56 arriving from Salt Lake City. Nine hours and nine minutes it has flown to get here and the airplane is a year old. Absolutely has begun to feel more windy. <laughs> the calmness was short lived, sadly. Meanwhile, Chris still doing some cardio in the water while Curtis is grazing in the grass, finding a bit of cover from the wind, probably. Hey there, Daniel. Good morning. Doing well, thank you for asking. Warmer dress than yesterday. Goedemorgen, Gert. Dushi, goedemorgen, good morning. Wow, wow, flying cube. Imam. And all other viewers who have joined us in the meantime, good morning to you all. This is KLM flight 749 arriving from Cartagena in Colombia. 8 hours and 32 minutes it has flown to get here. It's a 78710 Dreamliner, one year old. First flight June 2022. Wolfgang cannot stay the entire duration of the stream. Who's to arbeiten? Howdy Wendy, goedemorgen. The cat, meow meow, good morning. Right, well, departures take place from the other two north south oriented runways. We looks like we have to wait a little bit for our next airplane. The next airplane is going to be an A319 arriving from Birmingham. Let's have a little look at the current status quo then, shall we? So, um, it's 9.54, so the METAR will not have been renewed just yet. Runway usage, neither. Uh, in terms of big birds coming this way, um, I, th I thought I saw two over here earlier. One seems to have disappeared, so I'm not sure if there is another one coming. I believe it was a Cargo Lux 747 that was also underway. Um, but at least this 748 has not gone last and is arriving around 12.22.
we also have a Cargolux Italia arriving from Nairobi around 12.44 and again I believe there was also another 747 earlier that I saw that is also coming so I think there are still three more 747s expected the A380 expected around 1.15 earlier now around 10 past 1 so it is apparently having a headwind also coming this way standard livery still um, so yeah that is what is coming now around this time the meter should get renewed I don't think yeah it still says 30 minutes we'll get back to that later and problems with the landlord all right well that is some shit that takes precedence over watching airplanes for sure always things you need to prioritize this is definitely like sounding like one of them right well there is our next airplane EasyJet flight 27842 A319 arriving from Birmingham Is there more coming? A350 from Delta looks like. Is that going to be the next airplane? Oh, there's also an L737 arriving from Tel Aviv from the east. Looks like Delta is going to be the first next airplane. And uh, I think I was able to spot it when it was in the air where it currently is so I'm looking to my left to see if I can spot it already it was easier to spot with a more milkish backdrop than blue now sadly I'm unable to see it just yet Oh wait, I think I have it. Or is that an EasyJet? Yeah, that is a smaller jet. Well, then somewhere over there we also should be able to see that Dreamliner. As A350 I mean. Anyway, we'll see it soon enough. First up, the EasyJet arriving from Birmingham. Goedemorgen Adrie en Bart en Lans en Klaas en Leen. <laughs> Tayeb, good morning. And we also have our good friend Gary going under. Oh, and Klaas, you had to... I, 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 I made a mistake. It wasn't Pointer, it was Focus, the program that followed after Pointer. But it was only a less than two second 
B-Row Cameo. Um, the interview is scheduled for this Thursday. Judging how little of the footage that they shot with the Euro Aviation Boys got in the episode, I really am wondering how much seconds of footage I will get, <laughs> if at all. But it was... It was... Uh, Focus and not pointer, I made a mistake, apparently. Or I misheard, or they were saying it wrong, but I thought they said pointer. But it was, in fact, focus. Anyway, speaking of focus, our next fo focal point is a slightly crabbing Delta Airlines A350, flight 74, arriving from Atlanta, Georgia. Seven hours and 40 minutes underway. Eight years old and began flying in March of the year 2016. Meanwhile, behind the Scenes I am quickly checking, refreshing the meter. No, still not updated. Should be updated any moment now. Curious to see what the wind is doing. Hadi Patrick, goedemorgen. And all other viewers who have joined in the meantime already, good morning. One and all, you're watching Amos Live. Arrivals at the Polderaan. Little bit of crosswind. A350 from Delta arriving first. Arriving from Atlanta, Georgia. Hey there, Dave. Good morning. Grey Boy Studios. Good morning. The number two is an A319. Arriving from London, Gatwick. And left of me, and I'm looking. Somewhere. 777 300 arriving from Johannesburg should also be flying. It is easier to discern airplanes flying in the distance when the sky is a bit milky and not blue. But I do prefer a blue backdrop to a milky backdrop. And the meter still not updated. Okay, well. Last meter was 17 knots wind south-southeast. Goedemorgen, Danny. Mario, good morning. Herzlich willkommen. Marcel. Goedemorgen, José Luis. Buenos días. And is the L O? Yeah, L O is now number three seven three seven nine hundred. Be a butt shot in the making, folks. I think there is. Keep the shot a bit more wide. Also, see those beautiful curved wingtips. Michi, good morning. Andrea, good morning. Danny, good morning. Robert, good morning from snowy Finland. Oh, that explains why the Finnair A350 we saw was also almost all white. <laughs> That's just Finnish snow. <laughs> Martijn, good morning. 
All other viewers who have joined in the meantime, good morning to you too. Arrivals here at Polderbaan, runway 18 right. At the moment the only runway being used for arrivals. Last meter set as 17 knot wind from south to southwest. Not sure what it is doing right now. The meter has updated almost 10 minutes ago, but the website where I get the information from hadn't. So let me see if I have a moment to look again after this landing. Up first, El Al 737-900 arrival from Tel Aviv, 777 ER arrival from Johannesburg behind it and the meter has in fact now renewed so the current meter says wind from between south and southwest, 16 knots, so not much has changed in that respect, a few clouds at 2200 feet, I'll update the ticker in a which will take a few seconds and then it is back to the camera. Also a Dreamliner lining up behind the triple. And there is a little 737 passing by, outbound to the north. Here it is, LL Flight 337, arriving from Tel Aviv, 4 hours and 42 minutes it has taken this airplane to get here. Big Wi-Fi hump on the back. Good morning TNC, you guys have the same weather, well, congratulations, <laughs> definitely more sun already in this stream than in the entirety of yesterday's stream, not too happy with the wind though, I like it, and the audio is also much better when it is a bit calmer with respect to the wind, but then again, we do have crabbing airplanes, and our next crabbing airplane arriving is KLM Flight 592, arrival from Johannesburg, South Africa. 10 hours 40 minutes underway, 777-300 ER, the PHBVS, seven, 7 years old, first flight was in February 2017. And in the background is a 787-10 Dreamliner KLM Flight 668, arriving from Austin, Texas. Leo, goedemorgen. Good evening, Lee from Sydney. <laughs> nice. Good evening mate. Hope you've had a good day. Good morning Nina. Patrick Starr, goedemorgen. Dutch Flight Simmer, goedemorgen. Good morning. And all other viewers who have joined in the meantime, good morning too. You're watching AMS Live. My name is Boy and this is the Polderbahn aka 18 right. At the moment the only runway being used for arrivals, the other two north-south oriented runways are being used for departures. Uh, the Estelle and Zus and Zwager, <laughs> a whole family get together. 
Estelle and her sister and her brother-in-law. And also her little niece <laughs> from four months old, who is four months old. That's a good way to make them enthusiastic about aviation. Start early. Seven, eight, seven, ten in the foreground. Seven, eight, seven, ten in the background. The first one arriving from Austin, Texas. The second one from New York, JFK. Both KLM. Good morning, Westfalia. Heder Paul from Leiden. Oh, Noordwijk. <laughs> Trekker Spot is asking, are you standing there now? No, this is remote and pre-recorded. Kill him flat 668 up first. Austin, Texas is where this one is coming from. Eight hours and 52 minutes it has taken it. And the airplane is four years old. First flight January 2020. Wow, that's already four years back. Patrick is asking until when the stream is going to continue, well at least until the A380 has landed which was expected around 10 past 1 local time, last time I checked. Earlier it was a quarter past 1 so it seems to be making up some time with tailwind. And happy birthday to Ella! Hope you have a nice day! Hey, goedemorgen gents! Hope all is well! Right, this is KLM Flight 644, yet another 78710 Dreamliner, this one arriving from New York, JFK, 6 hours 22 minutes underway. Not as smooth as I would have liked. <laughs> Stupid wind. Blame it on the wind. Definitely not jitters from caffeine withdrawals. <laughs> right, well, Wolfgang, if you do come back, you're always welcome. If it takes more time than you would have liked, well, we'll see you on the next one probably. Our next airplane to arrive is arriving from Zagreb. It's Croatia Airlines in the Star Alliance livery. We have another airplane in the background. That is United Airlines 777-200 arriving from San Francisco. Also something having heavy seems to be taking off from center, I think. Let's have a look. Just curious, I heard something spool up. What could it be? <laughs> Would you believe it? Two days in a row, I heard I hear something spool up. Have a look with the camera. Turns out 
Orange Pride once again. There you go. Now, <laughs> that combo shot with the tower might even make a nice thumbnail, come to think of it. What a coincidence. <laughs> and off she goes. Alrighty, up first, Croatia Airlines, Star Alliance livery, flight 450, arrival from Zagreb, 1 hour 39 minutes underway. 20 years old, first flight February butt shots as des for dessert or as dessert <laughs> if you will Can you sense the camera being pointed towards you? Whoa! <laughs> camera radar seems to be switched off. Not diving underwater for several seconds. This is United Airlines Flight 968 arriving from San Francisco. It is a 777-200ER. Has been flying for 9 hours and 55 minutes to get here. And the airplane is 22 years old. Began flying in December of the year 2001. Mr. Jackson, good morning. Good to see you, Michael. I believe the first airplane of the day was a CRJ, so <laughs> we also saw a CRJ in yesterday's stream, but that was before you entered the chat, highlighted it, especially for you. And in hindsight, rightly so, because they are rarities these days, also at Schiphol Airport, so should make a habit of highlighting the CRJs that we see in the streams from now on forward. Adi Clementia, goedemorgen. Good to see you again. And Nelson, good morning. And David, goedemorgen. Good evening to you, mate. Alrighty, up next, Tarom, flight 361 arriving from Bucharest, 737-800 today, 11 years old and began flying in March 2013. The flight has taken 2 hours and 35 minutes thus far. And let's see, in terms of glide slope formation, 2 on the glide slope. 737-700 is number two. Number 175 should arrive somewhere from the right, from the east, in the background, if we get to see it. The clouds aren't in the way. 
Ah, combo shot 737 Raptor Ranger. It sounds like another heavy is taking off from center. Let's see if we can switch from one airplane to the next. Mm, already airborne. Dreamliner by the looks of it. And it is K4 doing the patrol rounds at Poldebaum today. Big picture wise, this is what it looks like looking to the south. Southwest, this is where the wind is blowing from. Straight to the west. Overseas you can see more blue sky. Also another airplane approaching the Polderbahn, uh, flying base, Air France, arriving from Paris, A321. And let's see. Our Malta should also er enter the field of view from the left any time now. If I'm wide enough with the shot. Let's widen it a little. Air Malta A320neo arriving from Malta. Well, it's called differently now, but I still call it Air Malta. For simplicity's sake. Yeah, there it is. And up first, KLM Flight 1772 arriving from Berlin. One hour and four minutes underway. And this airplane is 13 years old. First flight was in February of the year 2011. Good morning to Demir and Dennis and Nick and all other viewers who have joined in the meantime. You're watching AMS Live. My name is Boy and this is the Polderbahn runway 18 right at the moment the only runway being used for arrivals. Blue sky, sunshine and some contrails, some friendly clouds and contrails. This is a twin jet that is coming from the east. Still in the vicinity of the sun, so not very contrasty. You can see how the contrails aren't very long today. Not a lot of humidity in the upper atmosphere, it seems like. Our next airplane is an Embraer 175 arriving from the Czech Republic from Prague. KLM flight 1352, one hour and 15 minutes it has flown to get here. Thank you, Clemencia, for the update about the Emirates A380. It's sunny, but it is also windy. <laughs> latest meter set 17 knot wind, or at least the latest meter that we have checked. On the scale of chimney smoke, this is what the wind currently looks like, blowing away from us from this point of view. So there is crosswind and a little bit of crabbing going on. Not substantial, but not substantially, I should say. Next up, 
Nowadays called KM Mar Malta Airlines. The airliner previously known as Air Malta, arriving from, you've guessed it, Malta. Two hours and 41 minutes underway. A320 Neo, five years old. First flight, May 2018. The two airplanes that you saw behind it, Air France A321 arriving from Paris and an A319 from BA arriving from London Heathrow. There's another big bird spooling up on the center runway by the sound of it. Has it passed by already? No, there it is. <laughs> Thought I saw some movement in the background. Looks like a triple. And that is a triple. Air France, A321, arriving from Paris, Charles de Gaulle, flight 1444, 43 minutes underway, almost 44. And 14 years old, first flight March 2010, lots of, lots of fours. <laughs> Salut, monsieur. Oh, madame, mesdames. Finishing with a butt shot. <laughs> and despite having said it countless times, still not demonetized. <laughs> Still finding our way through the maze of YouTube guidelines, <laughs> but shut. Merci beaucoup. On to the next. And the next airplane is arriving from England. BA flight 430 arriving from London Heathrow. 41 minutes underway, A319, 18 years old, first flight February 2006. Ooh! Hi there, Hector, tuning in from Chile. Welcome to the show, mate. Hope you like it over here. And all other viewers who might have joined in the meantime, welcome to you too. Good morning, Michael. Tuning in from Newcastle, also back in the house. Good to see you again, mate. And indeed, Patrick, it was a bit tippy-toey this landing. Definitely a bit tippy-toey. Right, another narrow body coming in next. And then it is Air Canada Flight 900 arriving from Montreal, a Dreamliner. And the next airplane in the background, flying towards the glide slope. That would be 
Lufthansa A319 arriving from Munich. Some close-up shots are with less wind than others. <laughs> Some succeed better than others. The wind on the scale of chimney smoke. Our next airplane is Air Canada Flight 900 arriving from Montreal. Two more airplanes visible in the background. Lufthansa A319. And a TUI Dreamliner arriving from Curaçao is what is now melding, uh, forming the glide slope shot. Looks like maybe the fourth airplane after these three is going to be KLM Flight 598, a 777-200 arriving from Cape Town. First up, Air Canada, flight 900, 7878 Dreamliner, arriving from Montreal, 6 hours and 20 minutes, uh, 12 minutes underway. Dreamliner is nine years old already. First flight was in May 2014. Hey, Sander, goedemorgen. Good to see you again, mate. Hope all is well. Already our next airplane to arrive, Lufthansa Flight 2302 arriving from Munich. It is in the Star Alliance livery, one hour and 11 minutes underway. 26 years old already, first flight September 1997. And the airplane behind it is from TUI. And we might see the, yeah, there she is, bottom left. 777, KLM Flight 598. Hey, and can we see a fourth airplane arriving from the other side, Lufthansa A319? I think we might, probably a bit lower. The next airplane is arriving from the right, that is from Lufthansa, arriving from Frankfurt, which according to flight radar should be approaching the glide slope. And it's always hard to estimate where exactly it is in the sky. Yeah, there it is, between the clouds, now in the center, near the center. Right. Oh, that's a bit too low. That was a cyclist who stopped pedaling. The rattling you heard. Time for Star Alliance butt shot. Adi Valerie, goedemorgen, tuning in from South Africa and new to the channel. Welcome to the channel, hope you like it here. If you are new to the channel and you want to say hi, feel free to do so. It's not mandatory, but it's always appreciated. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Many people are watching and most of them are 
knowledgeable and all of them are friendly. Flying AMS Live logo up next, arriving from Curaçao, the sunny part and windy part of the kingdom. Not dissimilar to what it currently is over here, although with higher temperatures on average. Curaçao, Willemstad. Like we are going to get treated to another butt shot. Do you another butt shot in the house? Hey there, Graham. Good evening, mate. See through the see through engines with the bird controller in the background. Nice combo shot. Hey there, Vin Scoop, who is tuning in from Sweden, and John is tuning in from Auckland. A lot of people tuning in from the other side of the world. Welcome, one and all. Our next airplane to arrive is another big bird. Arriving from Cape Town, South Africa. KLM flight 598, 777-200ER. 11 hours and 13 minutes underway. Further up ahead, an A319 from Lufthansa. This 777-200ER is 18 years old, turned 18 in February. So now legally allowed to fly, drink and drive. Well, not together. <laughs> that is not recommended. Now, beautiful cloudy skies. If you look in the distance, land inward. This is looking to the southeast. This is looking to the east. Let's do a quick update of the status quo, shall we? In terms of airplanes of interest, ah, now that second 747 is back again. There were two initially, one got, one vanished, the cargo locks, but we have three more queens expected. This one arriving around 10 to 12, 20 minutes past 12, a quarter to 12, so that is the rush hour. Well, we already saw the Orange Pride outbound, we have the A321YHY, that's the second, is coming back. The Emirates A380 now once again expected around quarter past one. Let's update the, the weather after this landing. This is Lufthansa flight 988, A319 arriving from Frankfurt. 48 minutes underway, 12 years old, first flight September 2011.
Right, two more airplanes on the glide slope. The first next airplane to arrive is a 737-800 arriving from Zurich. Let's quickly have another look at the weather. Let's refresh the meter, see what's going on. 18 knot wind, so the wind has increased. It is still on average from the southwest. Visibility still 10 plus kilometers, no ceiling, few clouds at 2,100 feet. The air temperature is 16 degrees Celsius. That is roughly 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, shoot, that is, oh. <laughs> First cancel, otherwise, I would lose the ticker altogether. Selected a bit more than just the meter just now. Now, we'll have to update the ticker with the meter in a minute. First up, KLM flight 1918, 737-800 arriving from Zurich. One hour, four minutes underway. Up next is going to be Ita Airways, the A320 Neo arriving from Milan. Now we can finish the job of copy pasting the meter in the ticker now, the meter. That's the weather report of the day, the 7th, 8.25 Zulu time, that is 9, uh, 10.25 Central European time. So this report is from less than half an hour ago. The wind speed, 18 knots, direction 220 degrees. Wind is, direct, uh, is varying between 180 degrees and 240 degrees. Visibility is 10 plus kilometers. Few clouds at 2,100 feet, the air temperature 16 degrees Celsius, the dew point is 12 degrees Celsius, the air pressure is 1,012 hectopascals and no significant changes are expected in the weather in the upcoming two hours. Time to turn back to the ITA A320 NEO arriving from Milan. Now the second ITA is not far away, it is the now number two actually. And the number one being the Transavia flight 5424-737-800 arriving from Pisa. So it is an Italian inbound rush hour of sorts. Three consecutive airplanes arriving from Italia. And outbound. A familiar looking airplane type. Dancing up and down, left and right, that is the downside of image stabilizer. And the exact reason I rather don't use it, but with vibrations due to the wind Despite, it's even worse when you disable it. On windy days like today, you need it, sadly.
Ja, die Han, goedemorgen. Ja, die Anja, goedemorgen. All other viewers who might have joined in the meantime. Hi, JS, goedemorgen. What the fudge? Shots fired. Right, it's the tilt axis pre that predominantly causes the vibration, so locking it. The up-down movement, Substan locking that axis substantially reduces the vibrations. That's good to know for when following stuff that is happening on the ground. ETA Airways, flight 108 up next. A321neo arriving from Rome, one hour 52 minutes underway. Brand new airplane, first flight October 2023. Hey Alan, good morning. Lenneke, goedemorgen. Yo bro, to Jay. Always nice shade of blue, whether it is sunny or rainy, it always looks good. And Ali S, goedemorgen. Now, looks nice. No contrails though, and it looks like the there is an area of. Overcast clouds southeast of us. And the wind's blowing from this direction, luckily. Much cleaner air. This is to the west where the sea is. This is where the wind is coming from. Definitely looks like it is overcast more to the southeast of us. Righty, next up, Embraer 190 KLM flight 1850 arriving from Munich, one hour and five minutes underway, 18 years old, first flight July 2009, Hadi Everstaria, Hadi Mat. Back to the waving first officer. And not only do we get treated to a wave, but also a butt shot to boot. Already up next, Aegean, arriving from Athens, A320, flight 3624. Three hours and five minutes underway. Further up ahead, the next airplane. A little separation between the two. 737 is the number two, arriving from Copenhagen. First up, the Aegean, arriving from Athens. <laughs> Overtaken by Donald Duck. Oh, 
who just landed over there. No, I don't see Daisy, don't see Scrooge, don't see Huey, Dewey or Louie. Also Chris and Kurt, oh wait, I do see Chris. Chris is grazing over there. Uh, Russell and his cronies I haven't seen. Wind on the scale of chimney smoke. Right. Next up, Caleb at twelve sixty eight. Arriving from Copenhagen, 737-800, one hour and eight minutes underway. The airplane is 23 years old. First flight, August 2000. <laughs> Copenhagen represent indeed Don Zelly. Goedemorgen Jody. Now the next airplane behind this 737 is arriving from Las Vegas. 78710 Dreamliner. Mr. Biker also back in the chat. Good morning, Paul. Hope all is well over there on the other side of the North Sea. Over here, the emergency services. Never a day off. Although the ambulance does not seem to be having the sirens on. So still outbound traffic to the north, passing us by. Another 737 by the looks of it, KLM. Alright, turning our camera back to the north. For flying AMS Live logo. Okay, them flight six three six arriving from Las Vegas seven eight seven ten Dreamliner nine hours and thirty four minutes underway, and <laughs> even with pan and tilt axis locked, still vibrates like mad. Back to more moderate zoom levels then. Chris and Curtis, mean to, in the meantime, are passing by here. This 78710 Dreamliner has been flying for 9 hours and 34 minutes to get from Las Vegas to where it is right now. And the airplane has been flying for 3 years now in total. In August it is going to turn 4.
little twin jet coming this way. Let's have a look. Our next airplane to arrive is a Transavia 737 arriving from Palma de Mallorca. Flight 5622, one hour and 15 minutes underway. And it's now five minutes to 11, so we should expect an update of the weather in, around now. So the website will probably be updated in five to 10 minutes or so from now. The wind is definitely not slowing down that much, I can tell with near certainty. And another Air Canada Dreamliner following this 737. chimney smoke the wind looks very similar to yesterday although now with more crosswind than yesterday up next Air Canada flight 808 arriving from Toronto Canada 7878 Dreamliner six hours and 44 minutes on the way airplane nine years old The airplane behind it in the distance is an Embraer 175 arriving from Stuttgart. And good morning Marina and Patrick. shot in the making Next airplane to arrive is an Embraer 175 arriving from Stuttgart. If you tuned in late, welcome to the show. If you don't have to be anywhere, stick around. We still have a couple of 747s and an A380 and a Transavia A321 Neo by the looks of it expected. Cargo locks expected 1151. Atlas Air 1218 and another cargo lux expected 1144 we have the A380 in the vicinity of Bucharest expected around a quarter past one as the meter updated still not it says 35 minutes old so check back later see what the wind has been doing last meter 18 knot wind 
This is KLM flight 1828 arriving from Stuttgart, Embraer 175, one hour and two minutes it has flown to get here. The airplane is six years old, first flight May 2017. Adi Frank, good morning. Giovanni, good morning. Peter PDK, good morning. Nice combo shot. <laughs> Delta A330 taking off from center. That is going to Jerry's hometown of Portland, Oregon. And parallel to it is a triple seven that is going to Johannesburg. Well, I'm pretty sure I saw it, but <laughs> oh wait, I think I passed it by. The wind over here is relentless again. Definitely not slowing down yet. Another 737 arriving. KLM flight 1902 arriving from Vienna. Good morning, Byron and Juki Sun <laughs> and Corey and all others who have joined us in the meantime. You're watching Amos Live. My name is Boy. Arrivals take place on runway 18 right at the moment. The only one runway still in use for arrivals. Wind is blowing from the southwest. Our next airplane is an A321 Neo from Iberia Express arriving from Madrid. The airplane in the background is an Embraer 190 from KLM arriving from Manchester. I do see the first airplane on the glide slope for the center runway. It is a 737 arriving from Ljubljana. So I will update the complete ticker then shortly. I think in a couple of minutes from now we should also expect the latest meter to be published so that we can update everything all at once. This is Iberia Express arriving from Madrid, A321 Neo. Have we seen the A321 Neo of Iberia Express before, I wonder? The airplane is brand new, but it is Almost a year already. First flight was in June 2023, so... Let's have a look. There's the meter updated. Now 21 knots and it has become yellow. <laughs> Still from 2 to 1 degrees, so the crosswind component is not too substantial. A few clouds at 2000 feet. The air temperature is 16 degrees Celsius. Sadly, not a calm day. Runway usage, 18C will start getting used for arrivals as well. 
the 737 arriving from Ljubljana, already underway, the first airplane to land. Now, silly me for not updating the title of the stream. Of course, now I must use stormy weather or crush wind or whatever. <laughs> and there it is, the first airplane to arrive on the center runway. Arriving from Ljubljana. Transavia 737-700 Well, with digital zoom <laughs> almost in the top end and you can do whatever you want but you will not reduce the vibrations this is in the top end of optical zoom that looks a bit better <laughs> more acceptable, more pleasing to the eyes Another airplane arriving from Nice, almost landing on Polderbaan, Embraer 190, KLM Flight Arriving from Boston, Massachusetts, A321, jet blue against a nice blue sky. Seems to be the only airplane now underway to the Polderbahn. Flight 631 arriving from Boston, Massachusetts. Coming this way, A321neo, six hours and 37 minutes underway to get here. This airplane is a year old. First flight was in June 2022. And Daniel, I'm doing fine. And I'm not sure what you were talking about because I was live yesterday for four hours, so. Not sure where you get your information from that I wasn't live yesterday. And Matt, please refrain from sport research, sharing sport results. There are people here that still want to watch the match, the race. Shot of the jet blue coming in. See through those see through engines. Hey there, Blackburst. Madeira Woman Spotter, good morning. Other viewers who have joined in the meantime, good morning to you too. Parallel arrivals in progress. The next 
airplane. Going to the center runway is this Embraer 190 that is returning from Billund. Okay, then flight 1292. Let's see, it is Embraer. Rush hour now, Embraer 175 following this Embraer 190 and the whole KLM fleet or at least the assortment of available airplane types is going to pass us by. Behind the Embraer 175 is an E2 Embraer. gone <laughs> now there does seem to be an airplane in the distance going coming this way very faintly visible let's see that is it is a triple seven though triple seven three hundred arrival from Curaçao Time. This is KLM flight 1198 arriving from Oslo. It is an Embraer 175, one hour and 44 minutes on the way. The plane is seven years old. First flight February 2017. Right, time to focus back on what is coming our way and this is KLM flight 736, it is the PHBVD, it is the 777-300ER in the Sky Team livery, arriving from Willemstad Curaçao, 7 hours and 45 minutes underway, the airplane is 14 years old, first flight August 2009. I've locked already both axes on my tripod. It is still very shaky. Let's go back to the top end of optical zoom. Now, a couple of narrow bodies are coming after this 777, an Embraer 190 and an Embraer, an E2 Embraer. Not seeing them just yet. Well, the Embraer 190 is flying left of the triple. The E2 is... No, wait. That is the 737 arriving from Paris. Too far zoomed out. <laughs> Not just on flight radar, but also with the camera. Hey, 
Hey there Norbert, good morning. Good to see ya. Looks like more clouds in the southeastern part of the sky. And again, also in the direction of the wind, more clouds. Pure to the west, still open. The wind is coming from this area, generally speaking. So there's also more clouds coming this way. Best part of the sky is still the northwestern and northern sky. Best visibility so far. Our next airplane to arrive is arriving from Paris Charles de Gaulle. It is KLM flight 1406, 737800, 40 minutes underway, five year old airplane. First flight March 2019. The airplane behind it, further in the distance, is number 190 arriving from Bristol. Kilo flight 1076. And it is 11.17. Let's have a quick look. I think that the 747 should be relatively close by. Let's have a quick look on flight radar. So the first... Hey, there's an... There's a bonus 747 coming. We did not see this one on flight radar just now, arriving from Frankfurt, expected in 15 or so minutes from now. So we have four 747s, one in the vicinity of Dublin, one in the vicinity of London, two arriving from Germany. They are all expected in the upcoming hour. That is good news. And it is 11.18 now. So I'm hoping that they are going to switch back to Poldebaan being the only runway for arrivals around 11.40, which would mean that the 747s that are now flying in German airspace might land on Poldebaan. But I'm not going to say that too, hard, too much out loud yet at the risk of jinxing it. That is a scenario that might well play out. Right, two airplanes in the distance. Embraer 190, E2 Embraer 195. It's vibrating like mad. Locked the pan and tilt axis. This is with dynamic image stabilizer. What would it look like without? Probably far worse. Uh, that's not much better. That image stabilizer does do something. Our first airplane to arrive is arriving from Bristol. It's an Embraer 190 KLM flight 1076. Six year old airplane, first flight February 2018. The airplane now number two is an E2 Embraer 195 arriving from Brussels. KLM flight 1704.
also looking around to see if I can spot any contrails that are coming towards me, but sadly, not much to see at the moment. Our next airplane is KLM Flight 1704. It is an E2 Ember arriving from Brussels. Twenty-nine minutes underway for a measly eighty-nine nautical miles. Two years old. First flight, November twenty twenty-one. Right, so a bonus 747 arrival from Frankfurt, the 7478 Cathay Pacific Cargo. Nice unexpected surprise for the Sunday. Triple seven to Willemstad Curaçao has just taken off according to flight radar. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> now all traffic. No, not all traffic. I was about to say all traffic is coming to the center runway, which usually is good news, means that an inspection of Polderbaan would commence. But there was one airplane I thought I saw. Further north, arriving from Aberdeen in Embraer 190. Uh, question is, where is it? Do I have it? Hard to see with the reflections of the sun. Oh yeah, just below center. It is coming this way. <laughs> you have to look closely. It is coming, so that means that for the time being, Potterbaan still remains open, and there is a bird controller over there, but it isn't driving on the actual runway doing an inspection. K3. One Embraer after the other is arriving. This would be an Embraer 175, KLM flight 1174 arriving from Stavanger. K3 did just shut away some fireworks to chase away the birds. And again. Clouds all look alike, need to be a bit more to the right. <laughs> Embraer 190 arriving from Luxembourg, KLM flight 1710 is what we are now seeing. And that is a flight of 44 minutes so far. 
this airplane is 14 years old. Its first flight was in January 2010. Right. Our first next airplane is approaching. Hey, it's number 190. And not just any, it is Chucky, the German Airways Leipzig for Chocolatery special livery arriving from Aberdeen. KLM flight 912 is the flight it is carrying out right now. Also, a big thank you to Hans Olaf for your seven months of continued membership. He says hello from Norway, my local airport is Bergen. Hans Olaf, thank you so much for your continued support and good morning. Right, this is Chucky, the Embraer 190 Leistiefer chocolatey special livery. Same age as the Orange Pride, one hour and six minutes underway, the DAPRI. And after this, it is playtime. Butt shot to boot. Very nice. Next up, playtime. It is the A320 Neo arriving from Reykjavik today. Flight 460, two hours and 44 minutes underway. The airplane is three years old and had its first flight in April 2020. Right, cargo lock 747 arriving from Nairobi in Dutch airspace. Which runway has it been assigned to? I see a lot of traffic still going to the center runway, so I'm thinking it is going to go to center. In the background we have Caleb Flight 1002 arriving from London Heathrow. Still above the North Sea Canal. Tippy Toey. But it is on the ground in one go. Nicely done. Well played. <laughs> well played. Hey, Cargo Lock 747 assigned to 1-8 right. So 
That is good news. Cheers, mates, for looking that up. And goedemorgen, Benny. Good to see you, mate. Daytime butt shot. Nice combo. Right. 747 rush hour. For those of you just tuning in, we have no less than one, two, three, four, seven, four, sevens all swarming around Dutch airspace, expected to land soon. And dessert will be served around 1.15, the Emirates A380. Also, coming this way, Transavia, the second of the two A321neos now in the fleet. And lucky us, the 747 that is closest by has been assigned to the runway we are standing next to. This is KLM Flight 1002. Arriving from London Heathrow, 737-800, 39 minutes underway, 25 years old, first flight January Right, big picture wise, this is what it currently looks like in the southeast. Into the south. This is where the wind is coming from, the southwest. Over the west, overseas, it looks even better. Northwest. Looking to the east. And another parallel arrival. German Airways. Number 190 flying for KLM arriving from Nuremberg as KLM flight see still as has been the case all morning clear blue skies to the north up ahead we have a triple seven 300 ER arriving from Vancouver Canada KLM flight 682 still a bit out and it is now 11:34, so I hope that the Latest weather update is also available. Let's refresh, have a look. Right, it has been published. So, current weather situation right now. Still code red, uh, yellow, 23 knots wind. Winds blowing from the southwest. Few clouds at 3,100 feet. Still 16 degrees celsius nothing has changed in that respect just that the wind speed has increased to 23 knots plus i'm expecting in a few minutes runway usage change with 18 right being the only runway once again for arrivals Cargo Lock 747 from Miami also assigned to one at right. That is good news, Paul. Thank you so much for keeping us informed about that. Now.
Right, so here it is, KLM flight 682-777-300 ER, arrival from Vancouver, Canada. Having flown 8 hours and 38 minutes to get here. The airplane is 7 years old, first flight May 2016. Next airplane is an A350 from Corendon, but delivery mostly shows world to fly. The dedicated airplane that flies between Willemstad, Curaçao, and Amsterdam Schiphol Airport, flight 598. Now underway for eight hours and a minute to get here. The airplane a year old, first flight April 2022. Now, oddly enough, there is an A330 arriving from Minneapolis that has been assigned the center runway. Or at least that's what it looks like on flight radar. Not sure if that is true. Let's see. Wait, no. Trying to spot that Embraer 190 that should be behind it. Not seeing it just yet. Now there is an A330 arriving from Bonaire that is now turning onto the glide slope. Oh wait, now I do have the Embraer 190. There's also a 777-300ER arriving from Panama City that is coming this way. Ah, the Adrian, goedemorgen. Good to see you again, mate. And Daniel has to go. That is very unfortunate timing. We have four Boeing 747s that are coming in in the next hour. Now, let's have a look. The Cargo Lux 747 is already approaching. It is now over Permanent. Might be able to see it visually if I didn't need to focus on the landing of the Curaçao A3, uh, <laughs> the Corendon A350 arriving from Curaçao. World to fly. It's the rental company, Corendon is the company that has rented this airplane. If you look closely with a magnifying glass, you will see its name. Eight hours and four minutes it has flown.
right, Lufty 747 to the north of me, going to Miami. Well, John, I wish I could see something. The only control that I see at the moment is a twin jet, which is also going to pass north of me. Not seeing any quads at the moment. Now, what I do see is a Delta A330 that is going to the wrong runway. Delta Airlines Flight 162 arriving from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And going to the center runway. 7 hours and 54 minutes underway. 8 year old airplane, first flight January 2016. Adi Marco, goedemorgen. All other viewers who might have joined us in the meantime. I think this is one of the last airplanes to the center runway. It does look like runway usage is going to change pretty soon. Most telltale sign is that a 747 arriving from the east is has been assigned to this runway. And there are four 747s underway, so that is very good news. Our next airplane up first is number 190, arriving from Southampton, KLM Flight 1070. 47 minutes underway. 10 year old airplane, first flight October A330 up next, KLM flat 765 arriving from Bonaire, 777-300ER arriving after that, KLM flat 758 arriving from Panama City. Yeah. Yeah. We have four 747 airplanes coming in. And I think we might see the last airplane to runway center pass us by in a moment. Arriving from Aalborg, KLM flight 1284. And looky there in the background, what is that I see? It is a queen of the skies. First up, KLM flight 765. A330-300 arriving from Bonaire. Eight hours and 15 minutes it has flown. 12 years old, first flight March 2012. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot of reverser usage by KLM. the ticker with respect to runway usage center will be used for departures pretty soon and our next airplane to arrive is a triple seven three hundred er klm flight 758 arriving from panama city Eight hours and 54 minutes underway. In the background, another airplane approaching the glide slope from the east, from the right. This airplane is 16 years old, the PHBVB. First flight March 2008. A 
No time to linger, sadly. Glide slope formation in progress. Our next 747 is arriving from Nairobi in Kenya. Cargo Lux Flight 2616. 747 400 freighter, 8 hours and 33 minutes underway. The airplane is 18 years old. Its first flight was in November 2005. The airplane in the background is an E2 Embraer, left of it, arriving from Edinburgh. And further to the left, but not within the field of view, is another Cargolux 747 arriving from Miami that is also approaching. A dancing queen. <laughs> Let's look and listen. Let's hope she's heavy. <laughs> ah yes, that is what I am talking about, nice. For us over here it sure was loud, I hope you guys still have any functioning speakers and eardrums left. Don't blame me if anything has gotten broken. <laughs> Watching AMS Live is at your own risk. Quick spurt to the laptop to thank John for just now gifting five memberships. If you are one of the recipients, don't forget to say thank you to John. Burst controller is also in a hurry. Let's have a quick look at these flaps retracting. Now if you've been enjoying the stream so far but you haven't, don't forget to drop a like, it really helps to spread this content to other aviation enthusiasts such as yourselves and also be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to stay informed of upcoming live streams. Three more 747s to go, let's turn back the camera, got some light appetizer snacks in between. The first one being this E2 Embraer 195 arriving from Edinburgh, KLM Flight 924. Bird controller also setting off some fireworks to celebrate John's gifted memberships just now. <laughs> Again, thank you for your generosity, John. It's airplane now touching down after an hour and nine minutes from Edinburgh, two years old. First flight March 2022, so this airplane just turned two last month. up next A321 arriving from Istanbul all white never heard of that one before arriving from Istanbul 
Istanbul. Three hours and 20 minutes underway. The airplane is 16 years old. First flight April 2008. Just took off, outbound to Shanghai, Air China Cargo, flight 1098. Bonus Queen of Swords. Right, up next, Ember 175 arriving for Cardiff. Kingdom flight 1088. The yeah, airplane behind it is arriving from Miami. Cargo locks 747 400, 7 hours and 42 minutes underway. Quick look at the touchdown and then back to the 747. Tippy toey, but a good one. Right, cargo locks arriving from Miami, Florida. 15 years old this one, first flight March 2009 More dancing queens coming in
747s underway. Two down, two to go. You could see that this one did not have as much flaps as the other one did. Another three airplane glide slope shot with two Embraer 190s and a 777-200 arrival from Guayaquil as number three. And our next airplane is an Embraer 190 arriving from Leeds from German Airways flying as KLM flight 1020, 46 minutes underway. 18 year old airplane, first flight January 2006. Our next airplane is another Embraer 190 arriving from Berlin, another German Airways rental, KLM flight 1774. The airplane is 16 years old, first flight January 2008. informing us that the other 747 from Atlas Air also arriving from Miami is coming this way. Now that was to be expected. I'm very curious to see what the other 747 arriving from the... Well, no, <laughs> never mind. They're all coming to this runway because this is now the only runway being used for arrivals. Right, three airplanes on the glide slope. 777-200 arriving from Guayaquil up first. A320 Neo from SAS up second and up third is a 777-300ER arriving from Lima in Peru. The number four that you are also seeing is KLM Flight 604 787 Dreamliner arriving from LAX. What a nice combo shot. Three heavies and an A320 Neo. Up first, KLM Flight 751 arriving from Guayaquil, Ecuador. 10 hours and 21 minutes underway, 777-200ER, 17 years old, first flight January 2007. Butshot! <laughs> Triple seven butshot in the making. Here we go. Bam. Right, 
right, three airplanes on the glide slope, a couple of heavies, and sandwiched in between is Well, not sandwich in between anymore. It is leading the pack now, of course, with the other 747 already. Uh, 73, uh, 777 had already landed. <laughs> this is the SAS A320neo, arrival from Oslo. Flight 821, one hour and 45 minutes underway. The airplane is seven years old. First flight, March, uh, December 2016. Next airplane to land is the 777-300ER. And a big, big thank you to Anthony Vos for your super, uh, for your PayPal donation. Just got notified by PayPal. Thank you so much for that. Next airplane to arrive is KLM flight 744, arriving from Lima in Peru, 777-300ER, 11 hours and 7 minutes it has flown to get here. Next up, arriving from LAX, KLM flight 604, which is a 78710 Dreamliner. Behind it is Delta Airlines flight 136, arriving from Detroit, Michigan, and turning onto the glide slope as num number three is our third, well, fourth in total queen, arriving queen, I should say. We also had a couple of departures. Ready. the landing Right, another glide slope consisting of heavies, ladies and gentlemen. Take in the glide slope shot. Where is Jerry when you need him? We have... Where's the third one? There it is. The airplane in the background turning onto the glide slope is Delta Airlines Flight 164 arriving from Minneapolis, Minnesota. In the foreground we have Delta Airlines Flight 136 arriving from Detroit, Michigan. Both of them are A330-300s and sandwiched in between we have Cathay Pacific Cargo 7478 arriving from Frankfurt. The bonus 747 that we did not see initially.
right Delta Airlines flight 136 arriving from Detroit Michigan 7 hours and 29 minutes underway 9 year old airplane first flight January 2015 Shot, butt shot. <laughs> nice little butt shot. Butt shot to boot. Got the airlines A330. Alrighty. Up next, Cathay Pacific Cargo, flight 64, arriving from Frankfurt, 7478. 48 minutes on the way. Short flight, the airplane 10 years old, first flight June 2013. Alrighty, no time to linger too long, the next 747 is already turning onto the glide slope and approaching pretty fast is the Delta A330, let's see where is that 747, can we see it already, it is approaching from the left, there it is, sweet. That is a 7478 turning onto the glide slope, arriving from Miami, Florida, Atlas Air. Before that, Delta Airlines flight 164 arriving from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Seven hours and 55 minutes underway, 16 year old airplane, first flight August 2007.
Right. Our next 747 is coming. And the uh, Transavia A321neo is flying in the vicinity of Rotterdam. Emirates A380 still expected in an hour from now. In the meantime, I'm updating the meter with the latest, the ticker with the latest weather. Wind has not changed significantly, has become 22 knots now. Just did an update in the background. The new tick, the ticker now shows the latest meter from 20 minutes ago. The wind still from 210 degrees, 22 knots. Visibility 10 kilometers or more. Scattered clouds at 3,000 feet. The air temperature has increased to 17 degrees Celsius. The dew point is 9 degrees Celsius. The air pressure is 1,013 hectopascals, and no significant change is expected in the upcoming two hours. And this is Atlas Air 7478, number 10 on flight radar, arriving from Miami, Florida. Was that an idle reverse landing? It definitely wasn't the loud one. <laughs> the least loud landings, least loud of landings that we've seen so far from the 747s. New airplane this one. One year old, first flight April 2022, one of the last built. Now it's also sounding like something heavy is taking off from the center runway. Time a big thank you to Chavs for si for nine months of membership. Nine love the streams wa watching from Newcastle, UK. Thank you so much for your continued support, Chavs. Glad you're still watching and liking what you're seeing after so much time. And if you are liking what you're seeing today, don't forget to drop a like if you haven't already. It really helps to spread the content to more aviation enthusiasts. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to stay informed of upcoming live streams. This is what it currently looks like. We still are waiting for the Emirates A380. We have a 22 knot wind. And this is what it looks like on the scale of chimney smoke. Our next airplane to arrive is arriving from Stuttgart. KLM flight 1830, Embraer 190. Departed an hour and a minute ago. No, not even an idle reverse landing and no reverser landing. Right, the next airplane to arrive is arriving from Basel, EasyJet A320, 737 from KLM, arriving from Billund behind it. Just a quick update. The METAR you guys are seeing, the runway usage still the same. We are standing over here at the moment, the only runway being used for arrivals. And the Emirates A380 is about to enter German airspace, is expected in roughly an hour from now. So,
give it some time. EasyJet arriving from Basel, A320, one hour and 15 minutes underway, 14 year old airplane, first flight March 2010. for uh, zooms to the cockpit. Also a big thank you to Always Running for your super sticker. Smiling face with sunglasses. Good to see you again mate, hope all is well. Donzelli was already in the chat earlier. Right, in an hour from now, the Emirates A380. In the meantime, this is our next airplane to arrive. Caleb Flight 1294, 737-700, arriving from Billund. And the glide slope, nicely visible. Two more airplanes in the background. Embraer 170 from KLM flying in from Teesside or Darlington. That is probably one of those new rentals. Iceland Air is sending a Max 8. Even muurtje gesoust, just painting a little wall. As you do on a Sunday. Right, more glide slope shots. Eastern Airways, a rental by KLM arriving from Darlington or Teesside. Flying as KLM flight 964, 50 minutes underway. The airplane is 20 years old, first flight March <laughs> Careful mate. Slippery floors. <laughs> right, our next airplane is arriving from Iceland. Iceland Air Max 8. Two more airplanes behind it, visible. Welling A320 arriving from Barcelona, now number two, and number three is the Transavia A321 Neo, the latest arriving from Faro in Portugal. First up, Iceland Air Flight 506 arriving from Reykjavik after two hours and 44 minutes.
And Jay, also a big fan of the Vueling Dot, just like Han is. Well, for you guys, especially this airplane is up next. Vueling A320 arriving from Barcelona. Flight 8309, one hour and 43 minutes underway. The airplane is 12 years old already. First flight, November 2011. Right, up next, Transavia, A321neo, arriving from Faro in Portugal, flight 5356. And this is the second and latest addition to the fleet. Transavia now two, has two A321neos, one arrived in November. PHYHZ and this is the PHYHY got the lift a couple of weeks ago back in March and is now already flying trips to Faro or at least the last couple of days it has been pendling up and down as we would say in Dutch pendelen traveling back and, back and forth between the two destinations How well can we see into the cockpit? I don't dare say it too loud, but loudly, but I get the feeling that the wind is slowing down ever so slightly. Hey, morning, Sarah. Good to see you again. If you just joined us, you missed all the 747s already. I think we've had five inbound at least. We started out with one and I think there were four in the last hour. I will timestamp the arrivals later when I get home, of course. Now I think we're also seeing a phenomenon that in Dutch is called Wolkenstraten, streets of clouds which is the formation of clouds in the direction the wind is blowing from. The wind is blowing from behind me in the direction the camera is now pointing and you can see a lane, a street, a strat of Wolke, Wolke clouds and you can see them parallel, forming parallel. In Dutch it's called Wolkenstraten, literally translated into English streets of clouds. I'm sure the English language also has a specific term for it, but I don't know it. I think if you look to a satellite picture of the Netherlands right now, you would see them very clearly. In the meantime, EastJet A319 having arrived from Milan. More butt shots.
Up next, KLM Flight 1354, Embraer 190, arriving from the Czech Republic in Prague. And let's see. The next airplane behind it is already visible. Another one of those beautiful Vuelings arriving from Alicante. And the third airplane to arrive is arriving from Dubai. That is a 777 freighter from Emirates. Emirates Sky Cargo. Another Vueling up next, sadly isn't one with one of those dots, it is the previous standard livery, the older one, with parts of blue and parts of green in the tail. Alrighty. Quick break to blow my nose. With the wind and the temperature. And my jeans, it is still running. <laughs> well, sadly no yellow dot to piss off other people with on this one. Plain planes of color. And a nice little wheelie. Boring. <laughs> we want the yellow dots. Oh, A three thirty Neo Delta Airlines taking to the sky. Nice combo. Got the airline flight 49, this seems to be. Keep missing the right label. <laughs> no, I don't want the 748. Never mind, never mind. Emirates Sky Cargo, up next, flight 9906, arriving from Dubai. WCDWC World Center Airport, I think it's called. Six hours and 40 minutes underway. 777 freighter, eight years old. Let's look and listen. Now, very sadly, in an idle reverser landing of this eight-year-old airplane. Big picture-wise, looking to the east, still a lot of clouds. Looking to the south, relatively Lot, a relative lot of clouds and Wolkenstraten, lanes of clouds, two parallel next to each other. 
And where there are no clouds is where the sea is at the North Sea. Cooler air. Not rising as much, not forming as many clouds. Yeah, and strangely enough, the north <laughs> all the while has been blue as well in terms of the background. This is KLM flight 1164 arriving from Bergen. 737-800, one hour and 29 minutes underway. The PHBCE, 10 years old, first flight March 2014. Next up, KLM flight 1602 and a lovely picture of this airplane if you click on it on flight radar. Looks like it's shot somewhere over here at Schiphol. 737-900 arriving from Rome, 1 hour 56 minutes underway. Let's see, we should also have a new METAR ready in a moment. Let's first look at this landing. I think there's a bit more separation between this airplane and the next. established that the reverser is not just a redundant function on KLM's 737s, it is actually working and also sometimes used. Or maybe this was just a test to see if it still works, but pretty rare, you don't get to hear that every day. Up next, Embraer 175 and then an A330neo. In the meantime, I think we should have a new METAR. Let's have a look. We do have a new METAR. The wind is luckily slowing down ever so slightly. We now have an 18 knot wind. Direction unchanged. A few clouds at 3,600 feet. The air temperature now 18 degrees Celsius. 18 times 2, 36. 36 plus 30 equals 66 degrees Fahrenheit approximately is the current air temperature. Alrighty. Now, our next airplane is number 175 arriving from Milan, KLM flight 1626. One hour and 24 minutes underway. Hey. No. For a moment I thought, are we going to reopen the wheelie competition today? But it's still too windy. Hey, Wendy, also back in the chat. Good to see you, Wendy. Hope you're having a nice Sunday, and I hope everybody is, of course. Time for some cardio. Or at least one of them is. 
the other one <laughs> one of them keeps doing cardio the other one keeps grazing in the grass Alrighty, 8.3.30 NEO time, this is Delta Airlines Flight 144, arriving from Seattle, Washington, 9 hours and 6 minutes underway, brand new airplane, this airplane began flying in December last year. list of landings what a good one now rare chance to spot a contrail today contrail tails haven't been very long and the lighting from this angle also not too good and it is relatively far to the south a twin jet already hiding Going into hiding behind the clouds. Oh, something a bit closer by. Let's see. Oh. That is flying to the southeast and is already northeast of me. Our next airplane to arrive is arrival from Milan, KLM flight 16, 14, 737 700. The airplane 15 years old, first flight. October 2008 and Julius says Condor A339 from Frankfurt to Montego Bay that must have been the airplane that went into hiding behind the clouds rapidly flying south of me Definitely looked like it was en route to the Americas from Germany. Tony asks, why is the tail so tall on the 737? Because it is a one-size-fits-all tail. The tail is equipped on all members of the 737s. And because the 737-700 is so stubby, it looks proportionally much bigger than it does on the 800 or the 900 series. Right, three airplanes on the glide slope, and these are all narrow bodies. Narrow bodies galore. I see nothing but narrow bodies coming to the Polderbahn in the upcoming 15 or so minutes. And let's see, the Emirates A380 is expected in half an hour or so from now. So maybe after this landing, let's have a look and see where it is at. Also, let's have a look and see where it is going to land once it has entered Dutch airspace. I've got a hunch. I'm not going to speak it out 
not loud. Don't want to drink anything. Given the time of day. And the second country was Iceland Air 75200 to Rome. Thank you for keeping us updated, Joey. Jo Jody. Oh. Probably totally mispronounced that. <laughs> Apologies for that. Little butt shot. Before the 737-800 arriving from Madrid is up next. Well, they're landing with not a lot of separation, so let's stick with the landings first before checking out where the A380 is. We know that it is expected in half an hour or so, so it's probably approaching the border. Now, have a look at this nose. What do you see? What is different from other airplanes from KLM that you normally see? Don't spoil it, Chris. Shut up. Let them catch themselves. It is the previous standard livery, of course, with the straight line running from the nose to the back, border between the blue and the white. Right, Embraer 195 from Lot arriving from Warsaw. Gives us a moment to have a look. Right, so it is coming, the A380. I think we can guess where it is going to land on, but we'll see. We might get pleasantly surprised. Just like how we got a bonus 747 today arriving from Frankfurt. Now, this airplane looks like it is going to rob a bank. It is the beautiful Greski, which I also probably mispronounced livery. Nice graffiti like part on the back of the livery, uh, the fuselage. Right, little butt shot to boot. And this is a regular Embraer 195, not an E2. This is an Embraer 195 long range, 12 years old, first flight, June 2011. Really lovely to see how those clouds are forming in the direction the wind is blowing from. You can visually see the direction of the wind. And we're standing in between two lanes of clouds that are basically continuously flowing. Embraer 175, KLM flight 1818, arriving from Frankfurt, 54 minutes underway. Six-year-old airplane, first flight, July 2017. Jendrusek, goedemiddag kerel. Indeed, street art. Nice way to describe it. Now, some people on the other side of the runway. 
having parked their cars where you're not allowed to stand still or park. Hopefully the police will not interfere with them. Now our next airplane is Transavia Flight 61, uh, 6412, arriving from Naples, uh, Napoli. Nap <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm switching up all the languages. Naples, Naples, Napoli, Italy. 737-800, two hours and eight minutes underway. Seven years old, first flight, April 2017. A little butt shot to finish it off with. <laughs> Tony says, Glad you didn't say nipples. Well, <laughs> Nepal, I would say. Hey, that can kloppen. That can kloppen. Als je, als je ziet wat ik aan het filmen ben met een paar seconden ertussen, dan, uh, dan, zit je, dan, zit je, dan heb je mijn stream aan. Precies. Hé, hey, dankjewel. Fijne dag. Man showing the live stream on his phone with a few seconds delay. I think this is you. Yes, indeed it is. And shalom to Leo who is tuning in from Israel. Welcome to the show, mate. This is another 737. This one is from Alba Star, but it is flying for Transavia, flight 6332, arriving from Valencia. Alba Star. Dot es Espanol. Still boggles the mind, KLM rents airplanes from Transavia. Transavia has to go to Alba Star and other companies to rent their airplanes. Really interesting how that all works in, the, in practice. Our next airplane arriving from Milan is from EasyJet. It's an A320. And the airplane behind it, hey, nice. So Iceland Air sends a MAX 8 and also a 767. Yesterday I missed it because I was following a beautiful Contra of the A380. It also has some nice, had some nice coloration in the Contra itself. If you missed it, have a look. One of the highlights of yesterday's stream, definitely worth a watch. Today I'm not going to lose my focus of the 767. The now number two, Iceland Air Flight 500. But first, this A320 from EasyJet arriving from Milan. One hour and 22 minutes it has flown to get here. Nine years old this one. January 2015 is when this one began flying. Marissa, goedemiddag. IJsland Airfly 5 00767300 ER. In the background, Top Air Portugal A319 arriving from Lisbon. And another airplane at its 7 o'clock now, roughly at the same height as the 767, and that is Aer Lingus. Arriving from Dublin. First up, 767 time. This is Iceland Air Flight 500 arriving from Reykjavik. 
two hours and 44 minutes on the way. Look at it. <laughs> Diving. Just to get the airplane close to the ground. Noise. Maybe she's heavy too. That would be a treat. Get the reverser spooling up. This airplane, 26 years old, first began flying in a little bit right now on my right this is east of me flying from south to north is another twin engined airplane camera from the side <laughs> makes following quite difficult it's nice to see crabbing airplanes but I'm also really looking forward to just some summery weather without too much wind also makes for much much better audio a lot of wind noise yesterday I heard it back dreadful Microphone Sennheiser is very good, but not when it gets too windy. This is Tupper Portugal, flight 668, A319, arriving from Lisbon. 21 years old, first flight May 2002. Combo shot. <laughs> Back to the top end of optical zoom. Next, Shamrock flight 604, A320, arriving from Dublin, one hour and five minutes underway, 15 year old airplane, first flight in January 2009, and an ambulance on the highway in the background. Though not with sirens on. Irish butt shot, here we go. Now has anybody seen what runway the A380 has been assigned to? Should be in Dutch airspace almost, if not already. Dare I ask, <laughs> do I want to know? Going to see, okay. Yeah. Right, well, that was not unexpected. You always keep your hopes up, but it's not too surprising. 
Then again, we were lucky seeing all the 747s on this runway. In the meantime, this is Transavia Flight 6116, having arrived from Malaga. Jimmy is wearing his beautiful hoodie, <laughs> Amos Live hoodie. <laughs> awesome, mate. Alles goed? Mooi man. <laughs> yeah, the disappointment of the A380 not going to the Polderbaan. It was better when it was still winter time. Right, our next airplane is a beautiful welling with that yellow dot. The highlight of the airplane, the pinnacle of the livery. This is welling. Beautiful Neo with not just a yellow engine, yellow winglets, but also this beautiful dot, 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 dot. Right, Embraer 190, Embraer 175 up next. Flight 1450 up next, arriving from Toulouse and flying to to win Amsterdam. Yeah, baby. Embraer 190, KLM Flight 1450, one hour and 24 minutes underway. Eight year old airplane, first flight December 2015. The airplane behind it is another Embraer, it is an Embraer 175 arriving from Rennes. Well, also overhead, nearly in my zenith, is nice little Norwegian, instantly recognizable. <laughs> and not too far away from it, west of me, is another uh, lower. More controls are visible, however, all pretty far away with low visibility, low contrast. I should see, I should say. Uh, A380 yesterday from Singapore was superb, arriving flying over from London to. Singapore That was really spectacular This is KLM flight 1414 and bro 175 arriving from Rennes in France One hour and eight minutes underway six years old this one first flight October 2017 Jules says 
that the Norwegian was from Oslo to Alicante. Thank you for the update. Scooter hooligans on the cycling path, dipping their horns. Hey there, Travis. Good evening, mate. Hope all is well. Now, the wind is no longer as fierce as it was earlier in the stream when we had 23 knot winds, but if it is slowing down, it is only going to slow down very slowly. <laughs> We're waiting for the Emirates A380, which is going to land on the wrong runway, but what we can see pretty good from over here. In the meantime, a slew of narrow bodies is coming to the polderbahn, the first one being KLM Flight 1044. This is a 737-700 arriving from Birmingham. 49 minutes underway to get here. They're playing 12 years old, first flight May 2011. Seven butt shots. Spoilers already lowered. Will the flaps retract before it starts the right hand turn? And the answer is no. A380 over Elburg near Dronten, close to Lelystad. <laughs> three, three different indications of the location. <laughs> Thank you all. That gives me an idea of where it is. Still has to cross over Marker Mir. So still a couple of minutes out. Now, the first A318 of the show, the baby bus. Air France flight 1640 arriving from Paris Charles de Gaulle. Nicely wobbling back and forth. Forty-nine minutes underway. This one. Airplane, yeah, eighteen years old. First flight, April two thousand and six. For Guggum. It's the Fagugum. Almost sounds like somebody cussing. Fagugum on. Fagugum nog on toe is what we would say in Dutch. <laughs> right, looking up in the sky. Still the same. The sky is bluest when you look west towards the North Sea. And when you turn the camera to the east, land inward, you see more cloudiness and still that same. Clearly demarked bit where the clouds, the sky seems to be milky. It really makes me wonder if they are having sunshine over there, further southeast of us. E2 Embraer in the meantime having landed, arriving from Aberdeen.
right. Flying west to east, just a bit north of me. Looks like a 737 of sorts. Ryanair, possibly. BA. Let's have a look. A380, already visible if I zoom out on flight radar a little bit. The first airplane to center, arriving from Dusseldorf, already on the glide slope. Right, this Embraer having arrived from Glasgow. Faxi. More Embraers, more Embraers, more Embraers. If you are a fan of Embraers, this is the place to be. Three airplanes on the glide slope. Embraer 175 arriving from Christiansand. Transavia 737 arriving from Seville. And an A320 from Paris, Charles de Gaulle, Air France. The wind is still relentlessly pounding away at my camera and tripod fixating the axis does a little but only briefly since we're following moving objects now it won't be long until the a380 will become visible somewhere over there in the sky in the meantime I think <laughs> I think I have it. <laughs> yes, unmistakably. <laughs> unmistakably. Right, this is back to the top end of optical zoom. Let's see, where are we in the sky? Right. Nice combo shot of landing traffic to the Polderbahn with the Emirates A380 in the background.
Right, up next to the Polderaan on the left. Air France, flight 1740, A320, arrival for Paris Charles de Gaulle, 42 minutes underway. They're playing 10 years old, first flight November 2013. JD JD in vacation mode and the Emirates A380 lowering its gear Yep, then behind it, also visible from over here. Meanwhile, over here, another airplane landing, Transavia, with the bird controller also nearby. Flight 5216 arriving from Catania. Choop choop, good to go. Righty ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our last airplane of today's show. It is the Emirates A380. Flight 147, the daily flight between Dubai and Amsterdam, Schiphol Airport. At the moment, number six on flight radar, tracked by 868 people. Now, there's a lot of people tracking an airplane and a low number on the ranking. Normally, during weekends, you make top five with 300 people alone. So, it must be busy. It is still the old standard livery. Our members have access to the emoji with the updated tail, the ribbon tail, which is going to become the new standard livery at some point, but Emirates has a massive big fleet. Massively big fleet. Travis says goodbye already. And I say goodbye to you too, Travis, but I'm assuming you will leave after the Emirates A380 has landed. If not, very unfortunate timing if you really need to go now. This airplane is eight years old, began flying for the first time in February of the year 2016. Normally speaking, as Donald just landed in the water right in front of me. Normally speaking, this airplane would have flown around six and a half hours to get here. Look at the backdrop of clouds, beautiful. Today, six hours and 43 minutes. Come on, son, illuminate this mother. There we go.
rise well on that bombshell it is time to end Donald just landed over here also says goodbye to you right for me it is time to be done with the stream it took really long yesterday to get back home because of the Keukenhof <laughs> was 3.30 before I was home. I hope that I can be at home a bit sooner today. Looking forward to seeing you on the next one, possibly tomorrow, weather permitting. If not, hopefully later in the week. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. I had a blast and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I have. If you like what you saw and you haven't already, don't forget to drop a like. It really helps to spread this content to new people who haven't heard of the channel before, but might also be interested in this one. And if you want to stay informed of upcoming live streams, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you for the support. This channel is nothing without you guys. Thanks for the super chats, the super stickers, the PayPal donations, the merch shop purchases, and all the other forms of support. Moderators, once again, a big thank you to you guys for keeping the chat friendly and accessible to everybody and newcomers. Folks, enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you in the next one. And bye for now.